Hi, and welcome on my tiny balcony in Brussels. And uh, if you look carefully, you will see that behind me there is the moon. So today we are going to discuss a bit how we can set up an astrophotography session in the city. The idea is that because of COVID, we are in a sad period. And for instance, here in Brussels, we have we are in lockdown and we cannot go out from uh, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So I want anyway to take some photos from the from the of the moon. And so let's see, let's discuss a bit how, what we can do it. Okay, so here I have set up my equipment. Basically, I have a quite a sturdy tripod and the Pierre. This is a Skywatcher stainless steel tripod. I have a Maxuto telescope, it's 91,250 mm in focal length, 90 mm in aperture, and I mounted my Olympus Micro Four Third camera on it to take some picture of the moon. The head will be the Skywatcher AZ GTI, which is in the same category of the Star Adventurer, but is an Altaz mount, is not uh, an equatorial mount. And I think for photographing the city, this is much better because we have often limited view on the sky and for instance to frame polaris from here i'm lucky because i have a small gap in between trees but otherwise it would be a mess and uh, so you may not see polaris so you can't pull a line easily it will take time and so you will use it your astrophotography equipment less and less from the city this Altas mount here has a great feature that is point and track. So basically, I frame the moon with my uh, telescope and I tell the mount that I control Bifi with my phone that I'm going to track the moon. I want to photograph the moon and so the mount will point and track the scene at the rate, at the appropriate rate for the moon. So if I frame the moon, there you are. And I found that it's very reliable and precise. The only things you have to take care of is to level your tripod because uh, otherwise you will have some drifting and uh, yeah, the moon will soon drift out the, um, the frame of view of the instrument. But that is not a problem of the mount is because you didn't level your tripod. So level your tripod first. Now, before, going going on uh, let me tell you a piece of advice if you set up on the balcony be very careful because balcony are prone to uh, vibrations you step on the balcony from within your house you create vibration i have the bathroom there and if my washing wash, washing machine is center is doing the centrifuge i have vibrations if the neighbor upstairs is walking on his balcony i have vibrations so if you have a long telescope and you are on the balcony, be careful about vibrations. What you can do, and I will show uh, later on, is to put some uh, uh, vibration pads on the feet of the, of the tripod. Well, I can show you right now. So here, um, I hope you can see, we'll put some light and uh, there you have the vibration pad so this guys is dumping all the vibration that are coming from me stepping on the balcony of course um, of course that doesn't that's not perfect it um, Okay, so of course that is not a perfect solution. If I jump around, then I will st still have some uh, some vibration. But for normal walking, it, it's, it's work really good. If you are setting up near a road and you are on hard ground and the traffic passing by can create some vibration, it's worth it to investigate a solution like this one. Okay, so now I have set up the let me move the camera here. Okay, I have set up my gear quite a long time ago. We were talking, we were chatting about how to set up um, your equipment on the balcony. Um, meanwhile, the head, the, the, the mount was tracking the moon. So let's see if the moon is still in the frame of my instrument. 
So let's power on the camera. And surely enough, the moon is still where I left uh, where I left it like 10 minutes ago. And we are, the field of view of this instrument with this camera is equivalent to mount, to, to take a full frame camera and pop it on a 2,500 millimeter telescope. So the field of view is quite narrow. You see that I cannot take the moon entirely. I have to, to, to photograph top half and then the bottom half together. Now, before going on, I want to show you a bit how we can focus on, on the moon. So that's not really relevant for only for the city, but in general. So if you have the live view, one nice thing to do is um, is to go to to magnify your a portion of the moon and try to choose something like the edge where you can see some crater and then you magnify there and you use this um, you use this crater there in order to have an indication of how good your focus is now we got something like so I think that is pretty pretty good and what you can see already I hope you can see in the video is that you have some wobbling of the moon and that is because of the hot air rising from the roof and this is something you have to you have to deal with uh, particularly in the city so that means that you have to use very short uh, shutter speed in order to freeze all this movement and try to get sharp images so that then you can you can then stack and improve the overall quality of your of your moon okay so Let's suppose this is focused and uh, you see the moon is barely into the frame. Um, we can take a test shot, maybe go one, 250 of a second. Yeah, something like so. And that's basically the moon. Um, I use a silent speed and the touch screen so that I I can shoot without generating too many vibrations. There you go, I just gently touch the touch screen and snap the photo so we can can go to see it. And if we magnify you see that the vision it, it's pretty it's pretty sharp. So with this mount we have the possibility to photograph from the city in uh, a matter of minutes because we can use this point and track feature particularly if you have the moon the sun uh, the brightest planet uh, jupiter saturn mars this period is great they are a bit small so you may want to use um, red dot star finder to help you <coughs> to, to find them the point and track feature is what made me take this uh, uh, this uh, mount, uh, and I prefer it over the Stratovolcano in the city. Now, also interestingly enough, if you are mainly shooter from the city, this uh, mount can also be used in a equatorial way, so that you can try to have some uh, deep sky astrophotography from the city. And maybe I will cover this on another video. So for the moment. Let's take the photo of the moon. What you need to do is to set your camera in RAW format. Take exposure that are extremely fast, like uh, 1 320 of a second, uh, if you can. And then check, take many of them so that they, then you can, you can stack the best one and obtain uh, a great image. Now, if you have high video capabilities with your camera you can also snap video take a video instead of just taking raw images um, to do that you should try to set your camera on the highest possible um, bit rate and then to choose the highest possible frame rate that is compatible with this bit rate and uh, use of course manual shutter in order that you can uh, you will still be limited to maybe 
30 frames per second, but each cycle, each frame can be uh, the length you want, at least if you go below one third of a second. So this is pretty much how you can photograph the moon from the city with just your DSLR camera, uh, a lens or a telescope, and uh, you could do it from a fixed tripod, you don't need to track, but if you are interested in astrophotography, then uh, I suggest that a mount like the AZ GTI from Skywatcher can really expand your, possi your possibility. And you can also do some deep sky uh, astrophotography from the city, as I will discuss in another video. Um, and so, yeah, it's, that's just great and will really boost your, um, your, your time under the, under the stars.